Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be discussing on acid bases and indicators and we're going to be looking at uh, commercial indicators. In the previous lesson we discussed on simple acid base indicators and we looked at how to prepare these simple acid base indicators in the lab and also we mentioned that they are not commonly used because they have some disadvantage so today we are going to look at commercial indicators so what are commercial indicators commercial indicators are indicators that are produced uh, in the industries and they are already sold in purified forms they can also be stored in the lab these are, are, are a bit more reliable examples are phenolphthalein, um, methyl orange, we have bromomethyl blue, um, then we have the litmus paper and litmus paper comes in also paper and solution. We have the red and blue litmus paper and we have the litmus solution. Litmus is basically uh, formed from uh, vegetables uh, which are extracted from plants called uh, lichens. These are the ones that help make um, litmus paper. So litmus paper is usually adsorbent so when you dip it like in a solution it can easily change uh, the color depending if it's an acid or a base. So it is a solution that has been placed in the paper. So these are some of the commercial indicators and we are going to use these commercial indicators to test uh, different substances uh, in the lab. So when we look at when these substances are added in solutions of acids and bases and neutral solutions, remember in the beginning of the lesson we talked about examples of acids, both mineral acids and organic acids. You know, we find these mineral acids a lot in our labs. So if these commercial indicators were placed in different acids, different bases, and different neutral solutions, what are some of the colors that would be produced? So if we were to use a red a litmus solution, it would turn red um, a litmus paper. And in this case, we are using a red litmus paper. It would remain red and blue litmus paper would turn red. At the end of the day, the color that is on the litmus paper, both red and blue, when it is placed in an acid, is going to be red. And then when a red litmus paper is placed in a basic solution, it will turn to blue. If a uh, blue litmus paper is placed uh, in a base, it will remain blue. So blue litmus paper remains blue in base and a red litmus paper turned to blue in a basic solution. If we take the uh, red and blue litmus papers and place them in a solution that is neutral, so the blue and the red are going to turn to purple indicating that the solution is neutral so it is good that you are able to remember and even when you are explaining your observation in regards to red and blue litmus paper remember to mention both of them both with the initial color and the final color and then phenolphthalein is usually colorless in acids are pink in bases and colorless in neutral. This phenolphthalein is very important, especially it is commonly used uh, to show the end point between the reaction of a base and an acid. We'll come to that later because of this uh, unique property. It's usually colorless both in acids and neutral, but it turns pink when it's in a basic solution. And then we have methyl orange, which turns pink in an acidic solution. It turns yellow in a basic solution and it turns neutral. It turns orange in a neutral um, solution. So you make sure you're able to uh, know 
a half head where which color changes when and in what solution so that you can be able to answer those questions correctly come up with um, an acronym to remember which will make your work easier so next uh, what are some of the advantages of commercial indicators we said the simple acid in base indicators are usually having challenges we said faster they go bad with time and also they give inconsistent results so we prefer now commercial indicators over simple acid indicators why because they have um, consistent results they give consistency result you can see it's very distinctive in this paper all the acids will always turn blue smash paper red all of them regardless of which the whatever they are and then they are also readily available and easy to store unlike a simple acid based indicators where they go bad easily so let's look at one question Complete the table below to show the color for the given indicator in acidic and basic solution. So we have the indicator methyl orange and phenolphthalein, and we have color in acid solution and basic solution. There's a blank with methyl orange and there's a blank uh, with phenolphthalein. So we we'll start with methyl orange. Methyl orange turns uh, which color in acid it turns to a pink color pink and phenolphthalein turns into a uh, also pink color in basic solution so the answers in both cases are pink and pink so we usually prefer commercial indicators over simple acid indicators and you can see why they are usually used because they have consistent results and they also can be easily stored meaning they can go bad easily so next we are going to look at um, an interesting indicator we call it a universal indicator on the pH scale and you're going to see how it works and how it functions and then you also do a few questions so see you in the next session